I guess in this video, I am going to discuss about how to install ASP.NET in Visual Studio 2019. So in Google Drive, Visual Studio 2019, here after you get Microsoft site, Visual Studio, Microsoft.com, click this link. Now here after the link is it's opening, here you can find Visual Studio. Now here you can download Community Enterprise. So, Professional, whatever you want, here you can download. But I recommend you, you should use at your enterprise. Okay, so enterprise option you need to uh, select here. So enterprise because also that support multiple features. Now here the file is op uh, opening. Thank you for downloading Visual Studio. If uh, file is not to opening, then click. Now here after the file size is at your 1.3 MB VS Enterprise EXE file is there. Now here after click this and here you can see the file is downloaded. Now here after click that VS Enterprise EXE file. Now here after the next is the file is now opening Visual Studio Installer. Now here after the file installer is now running and here after here you can see Visual Studio Installer. And here after this all those things, here after click on continue button. Now here after download and install almost done getting everything ready. So and here it's the uh, still. Now here you can see Visual Studio and here this is the developer news. Now here getting things ready and here install. For uh, Visual Studio or uh, this must be it's uh, essential. ASP.NET web, uh, web development. So, for ASP.NET, you need to select this option. So here you get to build web application using ASP.NET Core and here ASP.NET HTML JavaScript container including Docker support. So this is at here essential. You need to select this checkbox. Now here after uh, others are optional and here after you get this all installation details here. .NET development tools, framework 4.7 development tools and here after or you can find ASP ordered or web development and your life say are there multiple option is there. Now here after if you scroll down here you can see dotnet cross core cross platform here you can see inside the ASP dotnet. So at here with all uh, uh, this here you can use HTML JavaScript. So this too you should uh, select now here after click install and here the total space that requires 33 GB. Now here after uh, let's click on install and here Visual Studio install so add your 1.74 GB the size. So it will take some time to install sorry to download and install. Okay, so it all depends upon your need speed. So add here Visual Studio installer. So 100 percent it's uh, done and it's uh, now finishing now. Okay, so here. Yeah. Now here after downloaded and finishing off and here you can see installation succeeded. Now here after you can uh, you need to uh, click on launch button to start Visual Studio now. So click on launch button and here you can see here you, here you can find Visual Studio welcome and here uh, uh, connect to database. Here you have three options sign in not now and maybe later. So whatever you like you can do that. So I'm going to use it not now. So not now I clicked now here after Visual Studio so you can select anyone blue blue or extra constraint dark light so I like light so I selected like radio button now here after you can select anyone from here so Visual C or Visual C++ so web development here so I'm going to use at here or gender option so gender it's all come now here after click start Visual Studio so Visual Studio we are preparing for first use this may take few minute times. So if you are using now here after this I am using first time Visual Studio 2019. So here I am going to create one new project. So here you can uh, find clone of uh, open for local folder. So let's click add here create new project on ASP.NET. And uh, here after since I click here you can see yes here is the selected windows. And here you can see uh, all languages. So you can select anyone. So I'm going to select C -Sar. So by using C -Sar, I'm going to use at ASP.NET. So here ASP.NET Core web application. You can select whatever you want. Here you can other find here like uh, ASP.NET web application.NET framework. And here uh, 
there are two options so I recommend you use it use and here ASP.NET web framework option so here you get this all details about the core now here let's uh, select ASP.NET web application.NET framework and if, if you select here after you need to click on the create button here keep the project name and here if you want then here you can change the location so I'm getting the project name web ASP and here location and you have to click on create here empty web forms mbc web api so going to select whatever you like you can select so web forms i'm going to select now here after uh, check the radio button of mbc and here after web api and here after if you want then you can use docker support and here also create now here after click on uh, create button And after creating the project with ASP, now here you can see the project is ready. Now after there are so many things that's come now. Here after the web ASP test, uh, since I selected an uh, ultimate so that there are so many features. Right click on the project, here after go, here you can see add and here inside add you can create add here new web form. So here if you scroll down here you can also find there are so many bunch of options like web form you can create add here. So at here if you are new, you should use at here new item. Now here after web API, web and here CSA is selected. Now here there are two options web form, web form with master base. You select anyone from there. And you have to if you select, let's click on add. So at here, add so new web form that is going to add it. So here this is the add here you can see HTML tags and here javascript tags so i'm going to cancel this and here i'm going to use going to write simplest code to print a few unique series so javascript code that comes into a javascript tag now here after let's copy and paste all that and here after save control as and click on it here a web browser and here or click on anyone you can select so i'm going to select at here firefox okay execute with the firefox and your project is now running and your project is running and here you can see the output is so displaying according to the project so here the output is so displaying go series on on mozilla firefox browser so here use the file of unique series it's a display now here you can see so this is about the detail of the code so and your title script all those things it's now at scroll there so this is the way we can install and here write the first javascript code using asp.net so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you